Hey, it's Earth Castle. Today I'll show you how to detail a room in Hammer. This video was inspired by Stubbs' video, so I'd recommend watching that. First, you need a room. This is the most basic room I could make. Just four walls, a floor, a ceiling, and a light in the middle of the room. As of right now, this room isn't looking the best. It's very empty, and it could use some life. The first thing to improve is the lighting. Lighting is a very underrated part of mapping. The right map with the wrong lighting can make all the difference. To fix this lighting, I made the light a more yellowish colour to match the old yellowish light prop it's coming from. It also breaks up the sterile look of the white light and gives the room some more character. I also added a point underscore spotlight. What this does is it adds a beam of light to the light and makes it much more noticeable. It almost looks like the light is penetrating the dust in the room and honestly makes the light look 10 times better. I also made these pillars along the walls since they were looking very flat and there wasn't much depth to the whole thing. This is very important for making a detailed room or map. Now that the lighting is fixed, it's time to do the props. I like to use different sets of props for maps, so for this single room I decided to use five different props. These are the ones I came up with. Having different variants of props can add a lot of life to your map, and tell a story in some cases. Like this full bag of concrete, and this almost empty bag. It's almost like they had some leftover concrete from when they were building the floor or ceilings, and they decided to leave it in the room. I also chose this spool, this pallet, and this stack of ties. The pallet and ties go well together, since the ties are on a pallet. Whilst you want to use similar props, you don't want to overuse them, as it can make your rooms feel repetitive and maybe a little bland. I'd suggest using two to four of the same props per room unless it's a very small prop or in a stack. I've put these two concrete bags in the centre of the room to break up the flow of the map and add some blind corners. It's really important to have the player moving around your map. You don't want them just cruising through it. You want them to have to work to see every part of it. The blind corners also make the map feel more realistic and add a little touch of gameplay as it could be a good cover for if you're getting shot at. I then added a few brush props, being some wooden boards in a crate. The Hammer++ Plus Plus physics sim is really good for making the boards realistically stand up against the walls. Now onto the final part, decals. The first decals I do are the trash decals. I usually put the big ones in the centre and the corners of the room, and the small ones in between. Make sure not to let the floor feel too cluttered, as this can very easily happen. You can always move or delete decals if you need to. Then I did the graffiti. I did one large decal per wall and a small one to break it up. Later I decided the graffiti made the room look a little too crowded, so I moved one of them behind a stack of concrete bags. It's important to know you can always change and play with the room. If you don't like it or you aren't sure about the design, you can always change it. A carpet decal and a rusted panel on the wall later, and it was done. Here's what the room used to look like, and here's what it looks like now. If you like this video, please check out my other hammer related videos, and I'll see you in the next one. See you!